Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. My God, today we're talking about sexual energy and how we can use it to create and ultimately manifest whatever we desire. Sexual energy is one of the most potent, creative energies that we know of. Matter of fact, in Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich, he talks about the 10 mind stimuli. I'm going to actually read these 10 stimuluses to you. This is what he says. He says, the human mind responds to stimuli through which it may be keyed up to high rates of vibration known as enthusiasm, creative imagination, intense desire, etc. The stimuli to which the mind responds most freely are these. The desire uh, for sex expression is number one. Following that is love, a burning desire for fame, power, or financial gain, money, music, Friendship between either those of the same sex or those of the opposite sex. A mastermind alliance based upon harmony of two or more people who ally, who ally themselves for spiritual or temporal advancement. Number seven, mutual suffering that as experienced by people who are persecuted. Number eight, auto-suggestion. Number nine, fear. And number ten, narcotics and alcohol. Now, those are things that the mind is stimulated by, fully stimulated by. The first is sexual energy or the desire for sexual expression. Now we know that the desire for sexual expression decreases rapidly through the course of the normal human being's life. But you're not fucking normal because you're watching my channel and I know you ain't normal. I know you're a little bit strange if you're watching this, right? Come on. So we want to talk about, I want to talk about a couple things today involving sexual energy. The, the end goal being to talk about how we can use it to manifest in our life whatever we desire, to use it as a law of attraction. However, I want to talk to you first about sexual energy, how we can begin to um, raise our sexual vibration, our sexual energy. And then I want to talk to you about how to transmute that sexual energy. So first, first and foremost, let's understand that sexual energy is I'm pointing to my abdomen. Sexual energy is stored in that lower abdomen. This is where it's stored. So right now, what I want you to do is I want you to relax your body and I want you to begin to breathe through that lower abdomen. And immediately what you'll begin to feel, open up, open up your body, relax every part of your body and begin to breathe. Now, if you weren't already breathing with that lower abdomen, with the lower part of your lungs, then you are holding your breath. So the number one thing that you need to stop doing if you want to raise that sexual energy is stop holding your breath. While I'm talking to you right now, my abs are, uh, are um, tense. If I want to release sexual energy, I need to release those abdominal muscles and I need to start breathing there. Intentionally breathe. And what you find is you actually find that your genitalia is stimulated a little bit. Not a whole lot, but you will find that your genitalia is stimulated a little bit. It feels more relaxed, more free. All right, so stop holding your breath. And the second part is to really begin to focus on breathing with the lower part of your lungs. Breath is life. We want to begin to breathe. We want to bring in breath. And we want to bring in that uh, relaxation, that rest, and that breath into the lower part of our abdomen, into this place where our sexual energy is stored. Now what we want to do is we want to learn how to bring that sexual energy up into our mind. So we're going to feel. I want you to feel that simulation from that lower abdomen, from the, from the the uh, as you relax and as you're breathing. Focus all your attention on your genitalia on, if you will, the root chakra or whatever. Focus all your energy here. And so, um, and you can even put your hand on your lower abdomen, on your testicles, on your nutsack, on your genitalia, whatever, it's all good. But you can put your hands down there, but I would put my hands on my lower abdomen. Now I'm gonna breathe and I'm feeling this sexual energy generate. I don't need to think about a naked, hot naked woman. 
I don't need to be thinking about any of that. I'm just feeling my own body, feeling my own energy, my own sexual energy. And I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it raise in this lower in, in, inner part, my lower abdomen and my, my um, in this region, I'm feeling all this energy begin to accumulate here. Now what I wanna do is I wanna bring that up. So I'm gonna breathe in. But as I breathe in, I want you wanna clench your anus. I know. Now, a lot of people talk about this as you don't want to lose sexual energy. And so when you clench that root chakra or you clench your anus, sexual energy didn't run into that unit. I'm not talking about that shit. What I'm talking about, the reason why we want to clench it is because we want to bring it up. We're focusing on the energy being brought up actually through our physical body because we want to bring it up through our body and into our mind. We really want to allow this sexual energy to really begin to influence the mind on a greater level. So you're going to kind of clench that anus, hold the anus, hold tight. But I'm breathing in. Everything else is relaxed. Breathe in deep. Hold. Now I'm clenching with the abs. I'm breathing in. I'm coming here. And now when I breathe in, all of this energy now gets into the pineal gland. It gets into the mind. And now I'm releasing the sexual energy into the mind. Now I'm in a position, as I practice this, bringing that sexual energy up, First of all, raising the sexual energy in the, in the storehouse, in the lower abdomen, and then bringing that sexual energy up into the mind. Now I'm honed in to begin to use the sexual energy in the manifestation, the creation, the imaginative process that we would call manifestation. All right. If you have questions about that, you know where to drop them. Now we're going to talk about how to transmute that sexual energy. What we want to do is we want to take all that sexual energy and we want to focus on while that sexual energy is going on, I don't want to take that sexual energy and focus on having sex because now we're releasing. Now I want you to picture it this way. When you release sexual energy through your body, you're procreating. When we take the sexual energy and we allow it to flow up through our body, now what we're doing is we're manifesting. We're using that sexual energy to manifest. Now you can... I know a lot of people talk about boxers and fighters and people that use the sexual energy or don't have sex during training camp for the specific purpose of taking that sexual energy and channeling it to, um, to, to, to get the best out of their performance. I realize that. But you can actually raise some of the sexual energy through release as well. I know this isn't something that's real popular or talked about a lot. You can release your sexual energy sexually. Go figure. Sexual energy should be released sexually. Big shocker, but you can release it sexually to um, also boost that energy. The problem is most people are just trying to get that sexual energy out into the world. And this is how we procreate, obviously, as a species. However, when we, if we were, uh, we're looking to have sex, but use that sex to create sexual energy, I'm not just trying to release that sexual energy. Yes, I want to practice I am releasing sexual energy, but I want to practice releasing it in a very specific way. In other words, I want to let it build, 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 build during the encounter and then explode, allow it to be really released. But as soon as it's released, don't go into rest and just chill uh, because now it's depleted. Now what we want to do is we want to immediately start building it back up, build it back up, build it back up. And a matter of fact, I would even dare uh, tell you to try to do it in such a way where you're releasing that sexual energy and then build it back up, build it back up, and then try to have sex again right after and try to see how 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 uh, much sexual energy you have built up to see how many times you can actually have sex in a row or within the course of an hour or two hours. And, uh, and I know this might seem a little weird, but it is actually a pretty cool experiment to see how well you are building sexual energy. Now, when we're talking about transmuting that sexual energy, what we want to do is we want to take all that sexual energy, we want to practice the breathing technique that I just went through with you, um, uh, moving the, the, the energy, if you will, through the chakras or through the body up from the root chakra, up from that sexual energy, from the lower abdomen, all the way up into your mind. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our mind and we're going to focus on the things that we want to create. We're going to use the other videos. There's a whole playlist of videos 
videos all about the laws of manifestation, the laws of energy, the laws of attraction. I want you to rewatch those videos. We're going to take some of the things that I've learned from those videos. I'm not going to rehash them right here. And we're going to begin to focus on the thing that I want to create on that thing that I want. And we're going to place all of our mental energy on that thing but feeling that sexual energy and then allow that sexual energy to begin to move outwardly through manifestation. So we're channeling this inwardly for manifestation instead of outwardly to procreate inwardly for manifestation. This is the basic key. So now, and we're going, we want this to be stored. We want this sexual energy to kind of be the driving force behind what we're seeking to manifest. And that will ultimately raise the burning desire for the manifestation of those things. And, um, and so if you want more on this topic, if you'd like me to dive a little bit deeper, please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed, my God, what are you waiting for? Subscribe today and let's fucking journey together. I hope you have an awesome day. I love you guys. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.